My name is Casey Jones, and I am an Alberta artist. I both paint and weave in a small town called High River. A typical day for me would be to come out to my studio, which is fortunately in my backyard. I'm happy when I arrive. It's a, it's a calming space. I will have something on the loom, but I'm already starting to think about what's next. I can't help but sit and weave and look over my shoulder at all the colors and yarns and fibers that are sitting behind me and, and tickling at the back of my neck, just wanting to be taken and made into something. This design was created while I was sitting at the loom thinking about how could I make a scarf that actually buttoned on. It's not going to slip off. It fills the V of your coat nicely in the winter time especially. And if you get in a location where you want to keep your scarf on but you're too hot, you can flip the top button down to the bottom button so that it's a little bit more airy. I laugh when I tell people because I say there were a lot of bed sheets killed in the designing of this particular scarf as I cut them up to figure out how far the button should be apart, how deep should the scarf be, how wide should the scarf be. There was a lot of thought that went into it. I would have to say one of the biggest sources for my inspiration and what influences me is the people around me. Whether it's fellow weavers or it's people that come into my studio, people that come to trade shows that I do, they have an energy about them and an excitement. And as much as I try and teach them about what I do, they're always teaching me too about things that are important in their lives and then can be taken and transformed in some way into some of the arts that I do. I'm constantly changing what it is I'm doing and how it is that I'm doing it. Technology not only changes our lives the way we live them every day, but it's also changed and, and reformed weaving in some ways. Who knew that you could make a fiber out of milk protein or bamboo or sugar cane? Weaving is a practical art. It's a functional art. Painting, on the other hand, evokes a more emotional response from me. The layering of the colors, the depth in which you can create, offer different opportunities. What they do have in common, however, is the blending of colors. I love this blend of cotton and bamboo, a little bit of synthetic. Each fiber has its own personality, which allows it to become this rich tapestry. Working as an artist, whether it's in my weaving studio or whether I'm painting in my backyard in Mexico, you're very much left alone with your own thoughts, very isolated. And that's why it's so exciting when you do shows in a gallery or trade shows and you get to meet people that become your best friends. You might only see them once a year, but you look forward to seeing them. They're full of energy and they want to see what you've done. And it's so nice to have it appreciated and to see people wearing your product and, and being happy wearing it. it gives you the energy that you need to move on and to create new products so the next year when you see them at that trade show you have something new to show them that they're excited about as well. All right. We're ready. Okay. Spun and dyed by these indigenous people in Chile. You have to leave if you have to bark. Go back to sleep.
<laughs> Go back to sleep. <laughs>